Yeah, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. I'm your host, Ripdrick. Today, I think we're going to work on our food supply. Now, I know that pirates usually don't have to worry about food because they just buy it when they go to the next port or, or they loot it. But, uh, yeah, now there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys before we get started today. I did this. And apparently I am now wearing a cape. I'm not sure what that is all about. So if anybody knows if this is part of a certain mod or anything, please let me know. Because I just, I don't know why we have it apparently, but we have a cape now. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now I do, like I said, I do have a few things planned for today. We are going to start by, uh, I know we're going to need some iron, some slag iron. So let's go ahead and check if we have some. We have one piece. We have iron plates. Um... Oh, can we, we can melt this down, right? We're going to melt down these iron bars. Okay, and we have two pieces of iron in this chest. So we're going to need to make more. Let's go ahead and go down to the Tinker's Construct Bay. And we'll see if we can't make some more here. I was thinking we could melt down these bars uh, so that we have more. I think you can do that, right? Yeah, you can. Sweet. Okay, yeah, so we'll just melt down those bars. And we'll let that molten iron just sit in there for now. And we'll take it out as um, blocks because it's a little bit quicker. Let's go ahead and check out our experience stuff here. We got plenty, obviously. It's been a little while since I recorded, but I have worked on the world a little bit. Or not worked on it, but planned some things out for us to, to, to do. Oh, as you can see, I blocked this up a little bit. So that we don't accidentally fall into it every few seconds. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Why did I do that? We, we set up the barrels last time, and I, I just I completely ignored them. This one goes in there, and this one goes in there, and then these guys, they uh, they go in here. Boom! We're, we're getting better at it. Okay, let's go ahead and check our flax field. Oh, man, look at all this grown. Okay, so I think we're just going to break them completely this time. Does that do anything? Yeah, it does. Sweet. We get tons, tons of uh, string. 18 string already? Wow. Okay, so we don't need that much then. <laughs> I was thinking we're going to need a lot more, but we really don't. So let's go ahead and replant these, and then we're just going to break the tops off, because I think the top is where the seed is. So if we can just get seeds, oh, apparently not, but we'll just break the tops off, and we'll let them regrow uh, from halfway, so they, they grow back a little bit faster. There we go, and now we have some seed to go with it. Okay, so now, like I said, today's plan is to get a little bit more of a reliable food source, and we're going to do that using Codemasters Pirates, the the mod that I have been showcasing for quite a bit now. Um, but there is one one part of the Flax mod that I have not shown off yet. I have uh, a few pieces of bread here. Let's go ahead and grab uh, 10 seeds and our 10 pieces of bread. Now, with the Flax seed and the Flax mod, you can actually put all of these together in a crafting table, and you get whole meal bread. Now, this bread is obviously a lot more uh, stuffing for your character. Uh, very, very good. And it's not very expensive. Obviously, if you have a lot of seeds right lying around, it's not a bad choice. Um, let's go ahead and toss in... Holy crap, we have a lot of string now. Let's just toss it all in, I guess, right? And now, we need to stand right next to it, up against it, in order for this thing to work, remember? And we'll just wait a bit here, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Uh... Once we have some more of this rope going, and then we'll go ahead and we'll check on that iron. We'll go ahead and uh, set that iron down, and uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Okay, so I've waited a little bit of time, and obviously now there are nine pieces here. Let's go ahead and check on our iron, uh, our iron bars, and how they're melting up. Oh, they're all melted. Oh, I gave us nuggets, but eh, it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pour that. That is on the bottom correctly. Yeah. Okay. How many was there? Well, the number's going down now. Oh, it, it really didn't give us that much back, to be honest. But then again, I don't think it is really worth that much now, is it? Iron bars in, like, their singularity. Now that I think about it, I thought they were going to be worth a lot more, but they're not. Let's go ahead and make that into our iron ingots. And then with those iron ingots, we're going to go ahead and create our... Um, what is it? I think it's... Be, is it... What is it? Slag iron. That's what I thought it was, but I wasn't going to say it until I knew for sure. Uh, we're probably going to need some more molds. So let's go ahead and create those if I remember how. Uh, I believe it is sticks. I, I should probably have more sticks than that. I think it's five sticks and four pieces of clay like this. It is. Awesome. Okay, so now we have some more of those. Um... So I'm going to drop the sticks back and the clay back. Now, I wanted to say also about the cape uh, that I that I found out. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I, I was surprised that it was there. That's all. 
Okay, um, let's go ahead and take this out because that is just about what we need uh, to create what I'm going for here. Uh, let's go ahead and put in these guys. Oh, no, we only need one. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to do this. And I believe we need... Uh, we'll just need two. Two is actually fine for us. And then we need to make the bayonet no no we need to make the sharp one how do we make the sharp one again nope 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 oh i know it's this one of these babies i think boom and then boom yeah nailed it okay so now we have one of those we need Oh no, now, now all we need to do is this, these two guys, and then that like that, so we get our hooks. And now remember, we need to cool all of this. We'll go ahead and throw in a new bucket right away. And um, just go ahead and fill that back up right away too. Let's go ahead and stand by this so that it runs and we get a little bit more rope to work on. Okay, so there's one cooled. What is this doing over here? Finish. Finish. Do I have to be standing by that too? Let's see. No. Finish. Or maybe there's just nothing for it to finish. Um, and then we'll cool these down as well. Doesn't look like it might it doesn't look like it's going to need the second bucket of water, but you never know. Uh, and then let's go ahead and start the crafting recipe for this. Now for what we are making, it is nets, I believe, and we're going to do that. And then we need six pieces of rope. Let's go ahead and Oh, wait, let's get one more out. We'll just take them all out, I guess. Come on. Come on. There we go. So now we can drop five ropes in here, which is awesome. We have a ton of rope now. Now we put these pieces of rope like this, and then with these cooled bits, all we need to do is drop this one right here. Now we have our nets. Now you get four nets for this crafting recipe, so obviously kind of worth it. Now nets, I believe, can be thrown, and I would go ahead and show you that, but because of what we're making, um, we cannot afford to do it. You can throw the net, and then the net, you need to make something else in order to pick it up, so we, we might do that another time. But what I really want to show you right now is the um, crafting recipe for our um, fish catcher so let's go ahead and grab some more sticks i think we need 12 sticks and three or no four planks so okay so we need really we need one more come on there we go and then awesome so we actually just had the right amount now we need one two three up here it doesn't really matter but we remember oh no we're making four so it's a multiple four and then let's go ahead and boom like that just evenly spread it across now we put our nets here and we come across our fish trap now fish traps uh can be placed in the water and they automatically hold on let's catch some sleep before we go out there and do this um but i'll explain it they automatically catch fish they can catch up to four fish at a time and when you open them to take the fish out sometimes fish can escape now there's only one one uh one square open so it will only catch one type of fish at a time um, but you can influence the type of fish by putting different kinds of the natural Hello, oh our muskets empty in our flintlock. Okay Okay, oh, oh that reminds me of something we need to do. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and head over here Now we can see some of the different underwater colors i thought there were some over here there are okay so there's the, like this guy here let's go ahead and see if we can't pick him up uh we can't how do we get these uh, oh let's go make shears and see if that 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 works because we we do need that that stuff um and then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the really shallow one that's just across the way it's a little bay over here and we're gonna pick up uh all the flowers from that and then we're gonna or, or i guess i don't know if they're called coral reefs or flowers or what we'll see when we pick it up but yeah, uh, oh, there should be two pieces of iron here if I remember correctly. I do. Let's go ahead and make our shears and let's go back out there. Oh, let's eat some of our wholemeal bread. Oh, isn't that delicious? That's what a pirate needs, some fresh baked bread. So let's go ahead and get back out here. Um, let's see if we can't find some and see if it, see if it helps pick it up. 
No, that was really weird that it got rid of our... I'm just sad about it now. Oh, let's see. Come on. Please, come on. No. Oh. So maybe it needs to be like... It needs... To... I don't know that we can pick it up. So, sorry. What I was trying to say is maybe it needs to... To just... These need to be placed just by the flowers. Um... And I don't really want to risk it anymore. Bummer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're, we're just going to go ahead and come over here. I'm going to try one more. Ready? Oh, we got one. We got an anemone. See, anemone. Okay, but these ones are flowers. Oh, you can right click and what do you get? Oh, coral. Can we plant the Can we replant the coral? You can okay, so so awesome. So we can we can shear the coral and then replant it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go around here. We're gonna pick up all the all the stuff we haven't obviously already ruined, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually replant and we're gonna build a uh, a fish farm a little bit closer to the house, just literally right out the front door. So we don't have to come over here every time and swim around this place and and try to. Get like try to try to salvage everything. I mean, it'd be just a lot easier to have uh, everything in one localized area, just like we did with the tree farms, so that we don't have to keep running across the the field and picking up the same trees. Uh, we just have it right by the house, and the 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 more we can do this, the easier it will be for me to just do it in before a video instead of having to do it during a video, or which really I, I it's just easier uh, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, that's what we will be doing. Also, I wanted to say I made a list of things I wanted to do, and I don't know if you can see on the the top left corner this guy right here. This is called a slime island, and I plan on making an Archimedes ship or a small one so that we can get up there eventually. I hope you guys look forward to that. Uh, I have not really delved into the Archimedes ship mod, and I I think it'd be very cool to give it a shot. Um, so if anybody has any pro tips on that, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Oh, where is it? Did I just see one? I thought I just saw one like right here. Nope. I guess it just doesn't like deep water. Okay, well, it's fine. What we have now it should be okay. Unfortunately, we didn't get... Oh, we got multiple of the coral, but that's about it. So, it looks like we have four different colors of the coral. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, the four different colors on the four different fish traps, and we'll see what they give us. Uh, I wish we had more so that we could... Um, we could have like a normal fish trap and see how, how lucky that one is, but it doesn't look like we will. Uh, sorry, I'm running back into the house so that we can grab our sand. If you didn't notice, by the way, I did organize our chest. I don't know why this is split. I did organize our chests a little bit more so that you know we're not really super lost when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, and like I said, I'm just going to create a bay out in front of the house right, right here in this section. Uh, and I'll be right back with you guys when I'm done with it. Right, and that bay should be just about enough. Now let's go ahead and place our fish traps. Now the website uh, that explains Code Masters is states that uh, it, it will show bubbles if it's at the correct depth. So I don't know if there's like a maybe I I, I didn't really see sorry for mumbling over my words there. I didn't really see uh, a correct depth like a number. Um, when I looked over it, but I might have just missed it. I don't know if, if I'm wrong. Please correct me um, But let's hope we see some bubbles as I lay these guys down Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lay it every three blocks So boom and then one two. Oh, it is. Oh look at the, look at that. Oh look how the bubbles are going That is so cool. It, oh, I was like I was super excited that we already had a fish. Sorry about that uh, So we're gonna lay it see every oh no Please tell me this picks up easily. Please don't break my fish trap. There we go. There we go. And then boom. Boom. Okay, now we will take out the coral that we have, the different colors. And we will go ahead and set these on the corners, just like the website tells us to. Um, 
clearly we don't have enough to do every corner, but hopefully that influences it a little bit. And remember, they will grow and we will reshear them. And, uh, and once we do, we will be able to uh, hopefully plant some more and get them all around. And let's go ahead and, and plant this anemone as well, just because I like the look of it. Wait, no, how, no, I can't replant the anemone. No. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. So now we have a nice bay with some food coming in. Now, depending on how fast this food goes, we may need to make some more, which is not a big deal, because I'd love to have some actually to create some more nets for us, because... Um, yeah, I think that would be super helpful. Now, like I said, there was one or two more things that I really wanted to do. Um, the first being I wanted to grab a piece of this guy. I want to come over here and take one of these guys. And well, let's go ahead and take four of these. Now, the reason I want to do this is be Oh, wait, maybe, maybe I miscounted. It's okay. Uh... I only need three of those, but look, oh, they have a grenade in the co-ed master's mod, and I wanted to go ahead and throw it, because who doesn't like to throw things that blow up? Oh, oh, that reminds me of what I wanted to do! Okay, good thing I have this in my inventory. Okay, so before we do that, I apologize, but we're going to go ahead and take this oak wood, and we're going to make some uh, planks out of it. And then with these planks, we're going to set them uh, by three again, so we get drying racks. Now we only have four drying racks. So let's come on over here, and... Uh, We'll start it up here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take, where are they? These. We're going to take these, and apparently if we put these up on the drying rack, eventually they will turn into a hide, uh, like leather. So let's go ahead and do that, and then I also wanted to create another chest. I know I have one in my inventory, but remember we keep that in case we find lucky blocks. So let's go ahead and just throw this guy down right here and we'll just put the rotten flesh in there and we'll just try to remember to replace that as many times as we uh, get oh it's night time we should go out and mess with some mobs with this grenade huh i hope i hope it's just a right click and throw because if it's not this is this is gonna be bad okay remember our x is over there so we don't want to hit that with a grenade hello oh hello hi okay look I am trying to sell some some round metallic things. Uh, if you're interested, you can just you can just uh, sign the form. That was awesome. No joke. That was really cool. Okay, so now we have some more um, rotten flesh as well. Let's go ahead and put these this guy in the chest and i think we're gonna call it an episode here everybody thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please remember to hit that like button my mateys and uh if you're new to the channel why don't you join the crew and hit that subscribe button uh yeah and leave a comment down below if you guys have any interesting or cool ideas for our pirate adventure because we're always looking for more loot to score i'll see you guys later